Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you've never seen my videos, I am a kindergarten through sixth grade music teacher. And today we're gonna to talk about all things Google Drive. So this is gonna be a series where I'm gonna teach you guys a few things because I love Google Drive. I have used it for years and years and years. And I feel like with the timing of everything going on and everybody using online platforms that I have a few tips and tricks that I'd like to share. So today we're gonna to start off with how do you make Google Fonts cute? You can't upload your own ones. There's there's a little bit of a learning curve and I have found some different tricks that it just kind of make it to you know the next level because I am that teacher that loves everything that is super cute. So let's get into it. So we are in my Google Drive and the very first thing you guys are going to do is once you are there you are going to press new, Google slide, and I'm actually gonna go over to one that I pre-made. And so I am showing you all the examples of these cool effects you can do in Google Drive. And so I'm just gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to make each one. So the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is start with a blank slide and you're gonna insert word art. This is a big thing because a lot of people press text box, but if you do, you can't do any of these cool effects. You definitely wanna click on word art. So I'm going to click that. I'm gonna write in whatever you want, but for this case, we're gonna do music class. And then it goes to the default settings. So the very first thing that I do is I set it to what font I would like it to be. And I'm gonna start off with Sacramento. Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to change the color. So I made it kind of this pinkish color. Let's see if I get the right one. I think that's it. And then I also want to add an outline to really make it pop. So it already does have a little bit of an outline on it, but I'm gonna make sure it's black. And then I'm gonna to go to the thickness, which I can kind of play around. And it looks like it's at that tube. I can make it way thicker if I'd like, but obviously I want it pretty skinny for this kind of skinnier font. So I'm gonna stay, make, just stay at two. Then what I'm gonna do, the last thing, is I'm gonna to go to Format Options, and I'm gonna add a drop shadow. And that really elevates it and makes it to the kind of the next level. Okay, so that's the very first one. Let's go next to here. So we have a white outline instead. So again, I'm gonna insert my word art. And I'm gonna change it to my font, which is this one. I'm gonna center it. And then what I'm gonna do is change that color. So I think, yep. And then I'm gonna add a white outline. And without the drop shadow, the white outline really doesn't look like anything. So you have to have that shadow in order. So again, format options, drop shadow, in order to see that white outline and make it really pop. And then also I'm gonna to go to the thickness again, because it's, again, you can't see it quite as much and it won't pop as much. So there we go, music class. Okay, the last one is a little more time sensitive. Um, you're gonna take a little more time, but it has a really cool effect. So you're gonna insert each one as an individual letter. If you wanna have this rainbow effect or different colors, you're going to have to do your word art for every single letter instead of the whole thing. Because if you do, you don't, you can't go back and change it. So like if I did music all together, then it would have to be all pink or it all have to be orange. I can't do these different colors. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna insert my word art and I'm just gonna do the M. Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to change it to my luckiest guy, I believe is what it is, um, font. Yes, okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it in to my font. Actually, you know what, Never mind. I'm gonna actually next, copy that, command paste, and I'm gonna make it to my U. Lowercase. I'm gonna size that up. Okay, then I'm gonna add my S. And I really pay attention to these spacing markings. So they come up right here in between and that makes sure that it's really spaced out well. So now that I have that, then I'm gonna go back and start making them the different colors that I like. So I kind of use these pastel colors at the top. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna take out this outline because we're gonna add an outline in just a moment, you'll see. Then I'm gonna make this one orange. I'm 
Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this outline where I can kind of offset it and make it have this cool effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this M that I already made. But this time I am going to make it transparent. And then I'm going to also put an outline on it. Then I'm going to drag it over. And I'm just going to leave it there like that right over top of it and we'll offset it all in just a moment. I'll show you how. So then I'm going to copy that one and I'm going to make it the U. Pretty much the same exact uh, steps that we did with the original letter. Okay, so now how to offset them. Again, that looks nice, but we wouldn't go through this whole entire process just to do this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to, okay, I did that without explaining. <laughs> Let me rewind, hold up, wait a minute. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to hold the shift button and then I'm gonna click on each one and that will highlight all of the um, lined shapes. Then what I'm going to do now that I have them all highlighted is I can move them all at the same time. So I'm going to just kind of play around with it, move it over to the side a little bit until I like it. And there we go. We got this kind of offset. I did it offset a little bit more than this one, but that's okay. We get the idea. All right, next we're going to uh, shapes. So there's some really cool ways that you can, again, make things pop really well. And so the very first thing that you're going to do is go to shapes. You're going to insert a rectangle. And I like to just do the entire width of the PowerPoint slide. I'm going to make it my fun kind of pink color that I've been liking. And then I'm going to press no back or uh, no border. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to insert Freddy Oka. So let's again insert our word art. And we're going to make it that Freddy. I always call it Freddy Oka. It's Fred Oka one. <laughs> okay. Then we're just going to center it on and make it a little bit smaller. I didn't actually like that. Okay, actually, no, I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Now we're gonna center it. There we go. I think this one somehow kind of copied the effects of this one. So I think it should already have our drop shadow. Yep, drop shadow, it's white, no outline, and it just really pops against the pink. Another example is something like this, where you would do a smaller shape. So I'm going to, again, insert shape, rectangle. Let's see if I can make it pretty similar. I think about that much. All right, we're going to change it to blue. No outline. Okay, next we're going to insert our word art. Word art. We're going to name it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to make it white so I can just see it a little bit better. Let's make it smaller too. Okay, so then what we're going to do is change it. And let's see, I wrote it down. This one is a C1. Calistoga? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to just shorten it just a little bit. Okay, then we're going to put a gray outline on it. So we're going to go to our gray. We're going to make it uh, maybe three count. And I think mine is a little bit taller up front, so we're gonna do that. And then finally, it looks a little bit different. We need to add a drop shadow. And there we go. And then finally, let's talk about if you have some fonts that you absolutely love, you're a font enthusiast like me, and you have some fonts that you use on your PowerPoint slides, but you want to use them in Google Drive, they will not, you, first of all, you can't upload your own fonts to Google Drive, which is a real bummer. I hope they change that at some point. Um, but for now, what you can do if you are really attached to one is create whatever you would like in uh, PowerPoint and then upload it to your drive as a picture. 
So let's kind of show, so I created with the same exact kind of strategies as we did in Google Drive. I have, you know, the black outline, I have a drop shadow, and I also created one with, you know, our rectangle in the background, and then I used this fun font that has all these little squares around it. So I am going to then, once I've created whatever I'd like, I'm going to just right click my um, image. Well, it's going to be an image. And I'm gonna save as picture. And then I'm gonna name it whatever it is. Let's just say music class pink. Save. And it says as a PNG. And I'm gonna just replace it because I've already actually saved it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one because we have two effects. I want you to make sure you have selected the font and the box. So make sure both of those are, you either do it by dragging your mouse across the whole entire thing, and it should grab both of them. Or you can do it by, again, pressing shift, press the font, and then press the back um, rectangle. Then what you do is you're gonna click and right click, and you are going to, first of all, group them. If you go straight to save as a picture, sometimes it doesn't work. So I like to group it first, and then I'm gonna right click and now save it as a picture. Same thing, you're gonna say, you know, music class yellow, you're gonna save it, but I actually have already saved it, so I'm gonna cancel here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip back to Google Chrome. And if I would like to insert my um, font here, I'm gonna press insert, image, upload for computer. I'm gonna go to where I put it, so I'm gonna have music class pink. And there it is. So then I can add it in. I can't edit it in here, but I do get that cool effect because the fonts will not show up correctly here. All right, let's do the same thing for our music class yellow. So I'm going to press insert. And I want to show you guys something with this because when you insert it, it has this big white box around it and that's kind of hard to manage. So I'm going to double click on the music class and then I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to bring it down and cut off some of that white edging that will kind of get in the way. That's going to happen no matter what, sometimes with these images that you create, and you just can crop it out. And then I can extend it a little bit bigger, and boom, there we go. And that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything specifically that you guys would like me to talk about. Um, I will gladly add that in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.